Hi, welcome to this episode of Post of the Week. And actually, I have a two-for-one special today. We're going to deal with two different issues with, uh, uh, with eye control rest. And so the first one is the idea of, of subcollections. And, uh, you know, Bastion had posted a question about, you know, how I do multiple posts and, and uh, was kind of talking about uh, uh, specifically the data group. And so how the data group works in TMSH, you have um, you know, a, a string, an integer, um, or an address data group, and then you have records in that data group. And so you may have a bunch of key value pairs in that data group. And it could be you know, a few, or you, know, you could just have a key you have any number of records in, in a data group. And what you would like to be able to do is uh, say that this is my data group and a day later, an hour later, two weeks later, whatever, I want to be able to add this key and I want to get rid of these two keys. And so what I would like to be able to do is just uh, send a delete function in there and then in add function in there and and you know I'm good to go but records in the data group are not sub collections and so in order to do updates to a data group you have to make you have to pull this down in its entirety and then you delete and add uh, locally and then you resubmit the whole thing up to uh, the big IP so there's a lot of underlying infrastructure reasons why that's the case, but you know, suffice it to say that is the case, and there's uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Um, you have to pull the whole thing down, um, and then and then uh, change, make your changes and 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 upload. And then so so that's issue number one, and uh, and the, so that's data group handling uh, with uh, eye control rest. Okay, and then the other issue um, was uh, I think it's HSQ. I'll uh, I'll correct myself uh, if if that's not the case, but uh, had asked about a month ago, and and really as I was looking into it, there's there's a lot of questions over over the months and, and years about Zone Runner and I Control Rest, and so the ask in the community is. Why can't I make zone runner changes that is, you know, GUI only on the command line? And and so there aren't TMSH, you know, there's no TMSH, and because there's no TMSH, uh, there's no REST because REST is based on TMSH. So because that's out, REST is out too. All right. So what do you do? Well, you do have options. Uh, zone runner ultimately it's just a rash, a wrapper. Uh, for bind. So you have bind and then you have this little nice little present um, wrapper uh, that we'll call zone runner. And so what you can do via rest is you can run bash commands uh, via the iControl rest interface. And so there is an article out there on um, on ask that details the steps that you need to go through in order to safely update bind um, from the command line instead of uh, from zone runner and so you can do that via bash if you build out your your logic in accordance to that solution another option that you can do is you could write an i app to manage the the bash system uh, so you could if effectively script out the experience and pass in your zone file changes to the IAP via REST, and then the IAP manages all of those changes. So, you know, it's not a direct path that, that you'd like to have, but, but you know, bash and, and, and then uh, bash through IAPs or uh, system calls uh, from, from uh, Tickle from the IAP uh, are uh, effective options as well. Uh, but that is logic that, that you'll need to build out yourself. So, uh, quick and dirty today. Um, if you have uh, questions that you'd like us to handle in post of the week, 
and uh, maybe you're not getting a sufficient answer, go ahead and just uh, you know, add uh, a tag of POTW to your question, and then you know, we can search for that, and then uh, we'll address those questions that maybe don't get solved to your satisfaction, and, and I know that you know, that's probably not solved to your satisfaction either, but at least it's an answer for what's going on. So we'll see you out there in the community. Thanks for joining me.